But it's clear now that we didn't do enough. We didn't focus enough on preventing abuse and thinking through how people could use these tools to do harm as well. And that goes for fake news, foreign interference in elections, hate speech, in addition to developers and data privacy. We didn't take a broad enough view of what our responsibility is, and, and that was a huge mistake. And it, was, it was my mistake. It's not enough to, to just connect people. But we have to make sure that those connections are positive and that they're bringing people closer together. It's not enough to just give people a voice. We have to make sure that people are not using that voice to hurt people or to spread disinformation. And it's not enough to give people tools to sign into apps. We have to ensure that all those developers protect people's information too. And it's not enough to have rules requiring they protect the information. It's not enough to believe them when they tell us they're protecting information. We actually have to ensure that everyone in our ecosystem protects people's information. You know, I think at this point I clearly made a mistake by just dismissing fake news as crazy, uh, as, as having an impact. It's People will analyze the actual impact of this for a long time to come, but what I think is clear at this point is that it was too flippant, and I should never have referred to it as crazy. This is clearly a problem that requires careful work, and that since then we've done a lot to try to, spread, to, to, to fight the spread of disinformation on Facebook from um, working with fact checkers to uh, making it so that we're trying to promote and, and work with broadly trusted news sources. Uh, but this is an, an important area of work for us. You know, we intend to make all the same controls and settings available everywhere, not just in Europe. Um, is it going to be exactly the same format? Probably not. Um, we'll, we need to figure out what makes sense in, in, in different markets with the different laws and in different places. But, um, but let me repeat this. You know, we're going to make all the same controls and settings available everywhere, not just in Europe. Um, I do think this is a multi-year effort. Now, that doesn't mean it's not going to get better every month, right? I think it will continue to get better. I think part of the good news is we really started ramping up on this um, a year ago or more. So it's not, we're not getting a cold start. We're probably a year into a massive three-year push. Um, my hope is that by the end of this year, um, we'll have turned the corner on, on a lot of these issues and people see that things are getting a lot better. Um, but these are just big, these are big issues. This is a big shift for us to um, to take a lot more responsibility for how each of the tools are used, not just the developer platform, not just fake news, not just elections, um, but everything. And it, it's going to take some time, and we're committed to getting that right, and we're going to invest and keep on working until we do.